Most competitive bodybuilders train to compete on a national level. Two of the hottest national shows were recently held. John Kovic reports. Some of the nation's best musclemen came from all parts to compete in Los Angeles at the 9th Annual NPC Men's National Championships. Promoter David Zelon and the crew from the Pro Muscle Company staged the competition at the glamorous Shrine Auditorium, host to the Academy Awards and many other prestigious events. This was the first year that NPC competitors were submitted to random steroid testing, implemented by the NPC for all 1990 professional qualifying events. A sampling of five athletes per weight class were tested. The championship started with the bantamweights. One of the thickest and most balanced bodybuilders was Scott Givens of Walnut, California. The 5'2", 143-pounder trains occasionally with professional Sean Ray, who also works out at Bulldog Gym in Irwindale and Gold's Gym of Fullerton. Although he only plays fifth, Scott's development so far only indicates his potential may far exceed his rivals. The lightweight class featured three impressive bodybuilders, including eighth place Ben Crawford, a Marine lieutenant stationed at Camp Pendleton, California. Ben has been training for many years and actually made his best gains while at sea for six months. His heaviest weight was 190 pounds. So unlike most bodybuilders, training for size or contest dieting is not really much of a problem for him. And at 5'7", Ben plans to pack on another 20 pounds and compete as a solid middleweight by next year. In sixth place was an unknown from Miami. Joe Tricoli started training when he was 14. At 5'5", he took his weight from a mere 115 pounds up to an incredible 180. Of course, it took the 30-year-old lifter many years to develop and mature his body. But as a full-time firefighter, Joe trained strictly as a recreation. Still, he was one of the more popular contestants at the Nationals. Winning the class was the breakdancer of the event, Joe Dawson, an American citizen who resides in Mannheim, Germany. He's no newcomer to national events, having competed at the USA, Junior Nationals, and the California State Championship. At 5'3 and 152 pounds, he was as short as some of the bantamweights, but 10 to 15 pounds heavier. For me, to look good at his middleweight, I'm weighing about 170, 168. But to give a middleweight an extra three days to carb up, and he'll look really big. And so I figured that I would be more competitive as a lightweight and, and possibly looking at winning the, the competition. Winning the middleweight class was a first-time national-level competitor. In fact, Patrick Lynn just qualified at the Tournament of Champions, known as Southern California's Summer Fest of Bodybuilding. This guy is packed with muscle and virtually taught himself natural bodybuilding while growing up in Mississippi. So I guess you didn't think my perfect for the show at all. What it did do is make me feel a little better and a little more confident about the show. Because I'm a, being a lifelong natural bodybuilder that I am, I felt thrilled because now I have an even better chance. The light heavyweight class included a surprise entry. Bob Cicciarello has been a heavyweight every year since he started competing at the national level. Last year at the USA, he competed at almost 220 pounds. This year, he was only 196. But even with the dramatic sacrifice in size, Bob still showed tremendous symmetry. He told us that he's had enough of trying to get overly cut and will box back up to the heavyweight class next year. And according to Bob, that means reaching 230 pounds in contest shape. And at 5'10", in his trademark symmetry, he just may be pro material by then. We first sighted John Sherman when he won the Teenage Texas Championships four years ago. You knew that this guy was going to go someplace in bodybuilding. He was a lightweight back then, but last year moved up a weight class and won the middleweights at the USA. This year, he entered the Nationals as a light heavyweight, placing fourth. But John is still only 5'6". The Houston-based bodybuilder may have been a little too smooth to win his class, but given another year of conditioning, John should be one of the NPC's best threats. Daryl Stafford hasn't competed since last year's USA. Placing third, the perennial light heavyweight has the genetics of a champion, but just never seems to come in top shape. He gets close, but on the national level, you've got to be right on. Since moving from Tallahassee two years ago, the 5'7", former Mr. Florida, has been training at Lee Haney's Animal Kingdom. Winning the class was Al Q. Gurley from Philadelphia. He made his first national contest appearance at the 89 Nationals in Miami. Placing second to professional Franco Santoriello, Al Q. narrowly lost by one judging point. But he's made some minor physique adjustments for this year's showdown. Train a little bit harder, a little bit heavier, and paid attention more so to thickness and things of that sort rather than uh, the fine details. As I figured since I had the muscle maturity 
uh, I already had the detail. So it was just a matter of making the whole package a little more thicker. The heavyweight class was the weakest at this year's Nationals. Last year's Tournament of Champions heavyweight winner Jerry Rogers swept the class with a perfect score. At 6'2", he towers over most of his heavyweight rivals. He's a veteran of many years in both state and national level events, so finally being able to turn pro in a drug-tested competition was a dream come true. In the overall, it was Al Q, the Philly Town muscle man, who in two short years stepped onto the national level and took the sport by storm. And just two weeks later, went on to win his class at the Amateur World Championships in Malaysia. From the NPC's number one competition,